which one is the correct sentence? A, do you bought anything online this week? B, have you buy anything online this week? Or C, have you bought anything online this week? Stick around and we'll give the answer at the end of today's lesson. And don't forget to find us on YouTube at Acquire English. Please subscribe. And on Facebook at Acquire English, give us a like. And we've also got our courses on Udemy and Skillshare that focus on training your listening, speaking, and pronunciation. So welcome back. Once again, we're here with Acquire English Live. My name is Adam. I'm here with Tuan. And in today's conversation, Tuan, you lose your phone, right? So uh, talking about phones today, uh, how often do you use your phone? A lot. <laughs> of course, every day. Of course, every day, yeah. Uh, Too much. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely addicted to my phone. Are you addicted to your phone? I think so. Yeah. Could yeah. you explain At what addicted is? Addicted is when you cannot control yourself, maybe, and you use something too much. Right. So people are often addicted to drugs or alcohol or cigarettes, right? When you can't stop doing something or, yeah. What else do people get addicted Games. to? Game, oh, Games. Games is a big, big one, one, I guess, now. Yeah. Many people addicted to video games. Do you, would you say you're addicted to your phone? I think so. And yeah, it's mainly games, I think. Oh, uh, what, what, what games do you play on your phone? There's a card game that I play. Yeah, just something to pass the time. I don't know. Yeah. I think now we multitask so many times. I do something online and I, if you play some poker or something on. Okay. Yeah. I, I know I have a problem because even if I just get on an escalator, mm. like, you know, 10, 15 seconds on an escalator, every time I pull my phone out and look at something, just 10, 15 seconds. And I, I don't think it's rare. I think most people do the same thing. I see a lot of other people doing it. So uh, occasionally I try to test myself and just say, okay, you're going to get on this escalator. You're not going to pull your phone out and look at Instagram for 10 seconds because you're not going to see anything. But yeah. Do you use, uh, do you use an iPhone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you always been an, an iPhone user? Since switching to smartphones, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. And they've got me locked, I guess. All right. That's what they do. They... Mm -hmm. Once they get you started, they make it hard to leave, right? Yeah. What's, what do they call that? The, the walled garden? Is that what it's called? Maybe. I'm not sure the term. But yeah, they, I don't know. They, everything is integrated all together. So they, they make you, I don't know, an apple. Right, right. An apple person. Yeah. I, I'm going to check real quick. I believe that's called the walled garden. Yeah. Walled garden is the English word for that. Closed platform, closed ecosystem. Ah, so they mm -hmm. get you starting to use the product and then it, uh, you can't leave. Right. But I actually did leave app. I used to have an iPhone, but I switched quite a while ago. I had two iPhones and then I just wanted to try a different one. So I, I use Samsung now and uh, I like it. It's perfect. But anyway, enough about phones. Let's get into today's conversation. And like I just said before, we are looking for Tuan's lost phone in today's conversation. So let's go ahead and have a listen. What's wrong? I've lost my phone. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. It's not on your desk? No, I just looked. Have you checked your coat pocket? 
Oh, I bet that's where it is. Thanks. Okay, let's go line by line and break down the conversation. So the first line here was... What's wrong? Tuan is looking sad. You can see he's got a frown on his face, looking worried. So I asked, what's wrong? Easy enough. Just what is the problem? Why are you frowning? And the next line. I've lost my phone. I've lost my phone means, so I have lost my phone means I can't find it. And the next one. Have you seen it? Have you seen it means, do you know where it is? So I have lost my phone. Have you seen it? Do you know where it is? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I don't know where it is. It's not on your desk. It's not on your desk means usually it's on your desk. Is it there? And notice we have this little, I believe this is blue uh, arrow going up. So this question, it's not on your desk is a question, but normally it would be, is it not on your desk, right? So we often just make anything a question by using rising intonation here. So instead of, is it not on your desk? We would say it's not on your desk with rising intonation. Is that right, Tuan? Anything to add there? Sometimes we add a tag as well, but that's maybe a different lesson. Right, right. It's not on your desk, is it? Right, it's not on your desk, is it? Right, would be a good one. Okay, and the next sentence. No, I just looked. So no, I just looked means I checked my desk a short time ago. A short time ago would be the just part of here. It wasn't two days ago, it was a short time ago. So I checked my desk a short time ago and it wasn't there. Next one. Have you checked your coat pocket? Have you checked your coat pocket means did you look in your coat pocket? Maybe it's there. Have you checked? And final sentence. Oh, I bet that's where it is. Thanks. Oh, I bet that's where it is. Thanks means, wow, I didn't think about that. I think it is in my coat pocket. Okay, so we can talk about this bet right here. Bet means I'm sure or I think, like a very strong think, I bet. So bet is actually a gambling word, right, Tuan? So you were talking about uh, playing poker on your phone, right? So when you when you have good cards playing poker, you want to push in more money, right? And when you're pushing in the money, that is you are betting money, your bet. So when we use this, I bet, we're just saying, I think or I am sure. Is that right? Yeah, very popular in England, betting. Betting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. on sports, right? Yeah, every street has a, a betting shop. Uh -huh. You can bet on anything. You can bet on the weather. Or, yeah, you can bet on almost anything. Nice. Uh, yeah, America is getting... Uh, I mean, obviously, gambling has always been a big part in of American culture, but it's getting bigger and bigger. It's... I think it was illegal for a long time to bet on some sports. Mm. And uh, recently they've made it legal online. So now online gambling is getting big. Which is also addictive. Yeah, which is also many people are addicted to, uh, to gambling for sure. Right. Bet. And another thing we could talk about with this sentence here, which which I love is your uh, pronunciation here. So let's play this one more time. Because if you, if you look at this without looking at the words, if you listen to this without looking at the words, maybe very difficult to understand. So let's listen one more time. 
Oh, I bet that's where it is. Thanks. Right. So the bet and that, right? You don't really say the TH all that much, right? You don't say that's where it is. It's kind of like, I bet that's where it is. I bet that's where it is. Hmm. Right. So the beginning of this word, and often when, when a word ends with T, we sort of stop the pronunciation, right? We don't say, I bet to, hmm. right? I bet to, the tongue doesn't come down. The tongue stays at the top, right? So I bet, I bet right? We don't finish the T sound. And by finishing the T sound, I mean, you say T, right? Bet, mm. t, right? We just say, I bet. And then the way you say it is the TH is barely there. I bet at where it is. It's almost like I bet at, bet mm. at, almost without the TH. Does that sound right? I didn't think about that, but yeah, I think um, generally, especially East London, the H is usually gone. Right, right. Hmm. I, I do a terrible British accent, but that's the one I always try to uh, try to use. <laughs> but, but more American wise, it's not that different, I don't think. I would also not put a lot of uh, emphasis on the TH. I bet that's where it is, bet that, bet that. But definitely not, I bet that. There's really no pause there. The T and the TH kind of come together. I bet that's where it is, bet that. It's probably how I would say that sentence if I weren't thinking. Which is unusual because the linking sounds is usually um, with a vowel. Right, right. So but if, yeah, if a, the T. Yeah, if a word, like one word ends with one sound and the next word begins with it, then we often uh, link those as well. We leave that off, right? Like, uh, what time? We don't say what time, mm. we say what time, what time, right? Not what mm. time. So this one is unusual because these are not the same sounds and they're not vowels, right? So mm. I bet that's, I bet that's, right? But anyway, interesting pronunciation part there not a particularly important part of today's lesson but hopefully uh, that helps you with your uh, listening and pronunciation a little bit so let's get into the grammar for today's lesson and we're talking about the present perfect tense right so we had this sentence or these two sentences i've lost my phone i've lost my phone so we have the present perfect tense. I have done something, right? And we use this to say something happened in the past. So one thing happened in the past and now it's important, right? Something happened in the past and now it's important. So in the conversation, Tuan said, I've lost my phone. So in the past, I lost my phone and now it's important because I can't find it. So to say this, I've, we say, I have lost my phone. If we just use the past tense, which is maybe possible in this situation, but it's not the best way to communicate. Just the past tense means the phone was lost but now we don't really know if it's still lost or not lost, right? But if we say, I have lost, it gives us a connection to now to mean I can't find it now. This is a recent event. It wasn't a long time ago, it's recent. I lost it and now I can't find it. Anything to add there, Tuan? Yeah, I think it's clear that I've lost my phone is, like you said, it's connected to now, I can't find it. If you say I lost my phone, you can say uh, I lost my phone, but I found it. Right, right. So it was completed in the past, but now it's maybe not connected to now. I have my phone now. Exactly. Okay. And we're going to look at this next sentence as well here, that their question that you asked. 
So this one was. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? So have you done is our how we ask a question here. Have you plus the past participle. So see, saw, seen in this case. And again, something happened in the past and now it's important. What we're saying is, did you see my phone? Did you see it? And now do you know where it is? So that's our two points. Anytime we talk about the present perfect tense, we have two points. So the present part of it is, of course, right now. And then we need one point in the past to do this. So did you see my phone at any time, right? And now do you know where it is? So have you seen it? And since we're talking a bit about uh, pronunciation today, this is a good one as well. Like we don't really say have you, right? We would say, Tuan says, have you seen it? Have you, right? Have you seen it? I always think of it more like ha and the word view. To me, that, that makes, it's kind of how it sounds to me. Like ha, view, have you, have you seen it? That makes sense to me. Maybe I'm crazy. But if this helps at all, the pronunciation of there is not have you, it's have you. Have you seen it? Okay. Anything to add here, Tuan? Yeah, the seen it as well. So also sounds like one word, seen it. Seen it, right, right, exactly. Have so it sounds like, sounds like two words, yeah. Have you seen it? Oh, All right. Ah, it's going to correct it on me. Seen it. Have you seen it? Good deal. Did we have one more sentence here? Oh, we did. We had another question, right? Again, have you done? So have you checked your coat pocket? Have you checked your coat pocket? Right. And again, have you? I, I, I made it sound a bit longer there. Have you checked your coat pocket? Right? Have you checked your coat pocket? In that case. So have you checked your coat pocket means did you check your coat pocket? And now, do you know if it's there or not? So same type of thing. One last time, when we use this uh, present perfect tense, have you done? Something happened in the past, and now it's important. In this particular conversation, we're talking about something that happened recently, just a short time ago. So let's practice making some of these questions. So the first one we have, buy anything online this week. And we want to make a present perfect tense question out of this here. So we'll give you a couple seconds to think about it and then we'll give you the answer. What do you think, Tuan? So this is the answer for the quiz. Uh, we use have you, and then we use the uh, past participle. So bought, uh, buy, bought, bought. So we use bought. Have you bought? And then it's the same after. Have you bought anything online this week? This week. Have you bought anything online this week? And that's a good point there. This was our quiz question, right? So which one is the correct sentence? The answer was C, right? Have you bought anything online this week? So Tuan, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you bought anything online this week? Oh, I haven't, but my wife has. She's bought many things online. Right. This is a a weekly conversation we have in that the uh, every every Wednesday when we're making this video, your doorbell rings and your wife mm -hmm. has bought something new. 
Mine is usually clothes, hmm. sometimes food. Okay, well, food is good. I suppose I suppose yeah. clothes are good. <laughs> How about uh, yeah, you? My, Have you bought anything online? I don't think so. Same situation my wife has, and she has bought things online that I've used, like food, or she, uh, we bought some pajamas for my son's but personally, I have not gone online and bought anything this week. So I don't think so. But yeah, my, my family has, we'll put it that way. Okay. All right. How about the next one? Go to any restaurants recently. Okay, what do you think, Tuan? So this one we can use have you, and we can use two different ways. We can use gone, or we can use been. Right. Uh, have you gone to any restaurants recently, or been to any restaurants recently? Right. Just one quick point about the gone. Um, if we use in a sentence, sometimes it means they are still there. So he's gone for lunch right it means he's still out but if we say he's been to lunch he's gone and he's come back exactly it's a good point so yeah one more time if if you say he has gone to lunch means he's not here right now means he has been to lunch means he went to have lunch and now he is back right this question yeah we can use both yep in this case have you gone to any restaurants recently have you been to any restaurants recently so tuan have you been to any restaurants recently i went to maybe not a restaurant but i had a, a ramen a few days ago hmm. uh yourself have you gone to any restaurants recently uh, actually, I have the same answer. The only restaurants I've been to recently are ramen shops. There's a, a new place opened up nearby. It's cold. Ramen tastes mm. especially good in cold weather. So, uh, yeah, I had some pork bone ramen the other day. It was amazing. And now that I'm thinking about it, I might have it today, too. Okay, the next one. See any TV shows or movies recently? Okay, what do you think, Tuan? Have you seen any TV shows or movies recently? With movies and TV shows, yeah, we can use scene or watch. Both is fine. Right. And also another point, um, generally with the present perfect, yeah, we usually talk about recent things. So when we usually use recent or recently, we use the present perfect. Right, right. Whenever we use this recently, it's often going to be present perfect tense. Good point there. Okay. So, have you seen any TV shows or movies recently? I've watched a new Disney, Wonder Vision. Ah, have you seen that? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's not bad. It starts a little slow, but yeah, it gets better. That's the um, Marvel Universe show, right? Yeah, the production is very good. It's mm. very good. You can see they spent a lot of money. Mm. Well, D Disney has a little bit of money to spend, so it's, it's good yeah. that they're they're using some of it. Yeah, I, I will definitely see it at some point. Uh, weekly, I debate about getting Disney Plus, the Disney online streaming service. Um, I think eventually I'm going to break down and subscribe, but. Uh, We'll see. It's good for the kids, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure my kids would like it. There's also that new movie, Soul, I think it is. New Pixar yeah. 
I think that's on there as well. I, it's one I want to see, but we'll see. Have you seen any TV shows or movies recently? Um, no, I watch so little TV recently. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me. Uh, my wife has been watching every single Korean drama, Korean TV show that she can find. So I guess I could say I have seen quite a few Korean TV shows recently. Uh, but of course, the show is in Korean and the subtitles are all in Japanese. So I can understand it for the most part, but it's, it's kind of hard work for me to, uh, to read all the Chinese characters and everything that goes into watching it. So uh, that's about it. But no, I can't really think. I did watch a, uh, a documentary about a comedian, you know, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, yeah, I like him. He's good. Yeah, yeah. So I watched a documentary about him. I suppose that's one I've seen recently. Just came out last week. Not a very famous good comedian, man. but yeah. But he's very good. Yeah, yeah he was. He, he's, he's dead now, but yeah. Yeah. He tells great stories. Some of the some very crazy stories. For sure, for sure. Okay, and the last question. So listen to any new music. In this case, we have lately. And lately is just the same meaning as recently. Is that okay? So hopefully everyone has the hang of this. How do we ask this one? Have you? Have you? And then we change the listen. Listened to any new music lately? So, have you listened to any new music lately, Tuan? No, I've been listening to a lot of old music. Mm. Well, old for me. Yeah. Some of the classic stuff. Mm -hmm. The Smiths, Tupac and Biggie. To, yeah, to some, okay. <laughs> things I've, I grew up listening yeah uh, I think my answer is the same uh, although I have caught up on some kind of bands that I used to like but they're new albums they're new, newer music which is not necessarily new but I just hadn't really listened to their, any new stuff recently. Um, but I just listened to, are you familiar with uh, St. Vincent? It's a female. Yeah. She's a guitarist as well. Yeah. Yeah. Singer, songwriter, guitarist. Yeah, I, I know it. Right, right, right. So I'm, I'm a big fan of maybe her first, the, al the album that kind of made her somewhat famous. And I... I, I, I'm still not even sure if her, her name is obviously not St. Vincent, but I'm not sure if St. Vincent is the band or is St. Vincent is the artist's name that she goes by. Yeah. I'm I don't sure. know, but either way, I, I'm a fan, <laughs> whatever it is, but yeah, it's a female guitarist and lead singer. Really, really good. Uh, kind of what kind of it's rock music. I'm not even sure what that's called. It's really kind of New York artistic rock music type of feel. But either way, really, really good stuff. But today, have you done anything recently? Present perfect tense, uh, extremely important part of your English. And uh, we do have a present perfect tense course coming out soon. We will let you know when that comes out. And otherwise, I think that will probably about do it for us today. Anything to add today, Tuan? Yeah, there's a, this is just a bit of the, the present perfect, but there's a lot more to it. So yeah, you be sure to keep an eye out for the course. There's a lot right. to cover. Right, and we talk about basically every week about how we need to be training and not just learning, right? So 
the course and a lot of our videos, obviously the video we put out, like this conversation video we put out on Saturday and it's a training video. You should be watching it, listening and repeating, doing the overlapping or shadowing, all of that stuff. Um, like all of the information you need to learn English is on the internet. And the biggest problem people have learning English, I think, is that they're just learning more stuff. Like, ooh, I understand more grammar. Ooh, I learned some new words, but it's not useful. They're not able to actually use that grammar in a conversation, not really able to use those words in a conversation they just know them. And then if they read it somewhere or see it on a test, they can do it. Uh, if you're not doing any sort of training that, that we could, the kind of training that we do in our videos, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a waste of time studying English. I think if you want to speak English, you need to uh, do some training to go along with it. But I'll stop yelling at you now. So <laughs> thanks for making it this far in the video. Uh, there will be another training video coming out this Saturday, and we hope to see you next Wednesday where we will talk about it. So have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you.